Check out the latest highlights from the Nourishing You podcast. And I bet too, um, burning, you know, being, being a fat burner, quote unquote, or being able to be metabolically flexible, to have the ability to burn fat, it's probably a more even keeled source of energy. Is that true? Rather than the ups and downs that can come with being just a carbohydrate burner. Yeah, there's, if you think about the amount of fuel, even a lean athlete has stored as body fat, it's massive. Like they could run multiple, multiple marathons, right? Your body's stored ability for carbohydrates is very limited. So your body is going to be a little bit more stingy, giving up some of the, the carbohydrates. And in general, people report that if they're good at using uh, fat, so one of the rough kind of tests people can do is, hey, like, how long can you do a fast? You might be hungry, but you would still feel relatively okay. Um, if it's like three hours while you're awake, yeah, maybe you need to work on that a little bit more. Because um, what's interesting is if your body gets real pushed to using carbohydrates all the time, uh, one of the things you can look at is blood glucose. And you may see differences in blood glucose. Their blood glucose may tend to run a little bit higher. What's also underappreciated is that their body just gets really used to using glucose and it gets very sensitive to these drops in blood glucose. Um, they don't necessarily become, frankly, uh, hypoglycemic unless they have a disease process. But as soon as the body detects that blood glucose is going down, it kind of freaks out a little bit and goes, oh my gosh, we can't use any other fuel source. So we need more carbohydrates, right? So in theory, the data on this is mixed, but you do tend to find more cravings for carbohydrates. You find that people, it's easier for them to overconsume calories and that their energy level just nearly isn't as consistent. Uh, some of that has to do with their uh, fitness level and a bunch of other things too. If you enjoyed this short episode, check out our full library on our NANP YouTube channel where you can catch up or learn more. Keep in mind that the information on the NAMP podcast is for educational purposes only and should not be considered medical or legal advice. The NAMP is not liable or responsible for any harm, damage, or illness arising from the use of the information contained herein. By listening to the information on this podcast, you agree to defend, indemnify, and hold harmless the NAMP and all agents. Copyright NAMP, all rights reserved.